today we are going to discuss selecting tools. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, uh, well let's call it what it is, there's a lot of cheap crap out there and uh, it's not really worth it if you're just going to have to buy the product again. Um, starters, my K-Bar. Um, I carry this anytime I am you know, in a situation where I may need a fixed blade knife. Uh, these are still US made. Uh, a lot of history with this particular knife. If you don't know, uh, check out their website. Uh, this was the original multi-tool. It was a fixed blade knife. It was a pry bar. The pommel's designed uh, as a hammer. It's a stacked leather washer handle, so it's good, comfortable, feels good. Um, it's big enough to do heavy things with and small enough that you can still do you know, some precise stuff like, like skinning game and, and various things like that. Uh, comes with the leather sheath. Uh, usually it'll say USMC right here. However, uh, I have nothing against the Marine Corps, just I wasn't a Marine. Uh, while we're discussing knives, this is my Columbia River uh, M16. I've used these knives for a long time. Um, they're not American made. They're, they're made in Taiwan, but they are quality knives. I can't find a single single dislike about this particular knife. Uh, carry this on me every day. Uh, so it's got a little, I don't know if you can see that little lock out here uh, that you can't accidentally close this knife. It's not going to fold up and, and close on you. You have to pull this and press the liner lock. Uh, to fold that closed. Now these are a bit pricey, but completely worth the money. Uh, they, they're warranted against going dull. If you don't know how to sharpen a knife, I recommend that you learn, but uh, that's the kind of faith they have in their, in their craftsmanship. Uh, also, every day, if I have my pants on, I have this. Uh, this is a standard issue Gerber 600 uh, multi-tool. This thing has saved me so many times. Uh, like I can't even begin to count how many times it saved me. Uh, they are U.S. made. They're the standard equipment for the, for the U.S. military. Uh, actually, my buddy purchased one uh, after seeing mine. He's a truck driver. <clears throat> he left his laying on the, the tire of his of his big rig uh, at a truck stop and drove off running over it. He watched another tractor trailer back into that same space. He came back three hours later, found his multi-tool, uh, and he is still carrying that multi-tool today. The only damage that it suffered uh, was the file inside. Try to do this one-handed here the file had broken off on his but you know it had been run over by countless tractor trailers at that point um, it's got the uh, let's see this. There we go. got the carbide cutters they're three-sided and they are replaceable um, you can purchase those at you know Academy they're stainless steel this is subdued but it is stainless steel uh, you can purchase them at Academy Sports they are I don't know, 40 bucks or something. You can find them online for 30. Um, so definitely, definitely a great idea. Uh, it's a glass breaker as well. It's just there's, maybe I'll do a review of just that. Uh, this is the Estwig uh, E14A leather camp, uh, leather sportsman's axe. Uh, comes with the leather sheath it is uh, about 30 bucks at Home Depot if you're gonna be camping splitting firewood uh, it's not particularly heavy it's got a stacked leather handle just like the uh, just like the K bar it is very very comfortable uh, one piece forge construction so you don't have to worry about breaking a handle the head of the axe and the shaft of the 
of it are all one piece and that's forged steel uh, Estwig has made everything hammers axes hatchets splitting malls uh, everything Estwig makes has been US made since 1923 uh, which is the same with everything except the pocket knife the, the multi-tool the k-bar and the axe are all US made and this is about 30 bucks at Home Depot I think is what I paid for mine and we're gonna do some uh, some different reviews of some of this stuff and you can see this stuff in action so stick around Alright guys, that's the uh, basic hand tools I use, Campcraft, uh, buy something quality so you only have to buy it once. Uh, thanks for watching.